Hi. So, how to choose your college project, right? And what are all the do's and don'ts, right? The first thing, uh, two types of mistakes generally people used to do. So, if you are a college student, right? So, you basically used to get the project idea sometimes from your professor and faculties and they may give you their PhD projects to you and they insist you to do that only, right? So, even in that case, like it's a wrong thing. Okay, the first of all, it's a wrong thing and not all professors does this, but there are few who does this for the students. It's up to the, it's up to the students' freedom. They have to take their own projects with their own technologies what they have learned but that is not happening in that way but that is still fine so if your professor is asking you to take care of uh, their PhD project similar to that so you can still do that but at the same time it's your career right so parallelly you start doing some of the project which is really needed for the real time right and just don't uh, blame like I uh, my, my teammate is not uh, ready to do that so again it's your career so don't lay on your teammates do it on your own right so this is the first thing and sometimes this uh, project coordinators or the faculties used to say like uh, uh, the title is wrong even though the skills what you have mentioned in the abstract has all the advanced tech stack like big data spark whatever it is ai llm but still when the title ends doesn't ends with predictive analysis or deduction then the title will be get rejected so in that case don't drop your project you still do it but just change the title however it is required for the professor right so now even students does the some mistakes okay let me tell you this so i just asked one guy uh, he's a student what type of project you wanted to do or you have some idea please let me know so he said like i have an idea he just want to track all the unused satellite in the space like motion tracking but then i didn't understand like what he is actually saying see as a professional person like who is working in the real time and I'm, I'm, I'm part of the interview panel, I'm coming to your college for an interview and then you come and tell me that like I'm just tracking the uh, unused satellites so the business is not clear for me then that means you're not like kind of impressing the interviewer like the, you have to impress them by just comparing or saying the real world problems what actually they do in their projects so you can ask me how come I know that that I'll tell you later now the thing is when you try to do this kind of exaggerated uh, projects, right? So that is not something going to give you a learning. Maybe from the skill side, it can give you, but not the dom domain side, right? Let's come to the point. So what type of projects you want us to work? Right, see, just look around. What are all the problems that you face as an end user with application in the daily life that you use? Amazon, Uber, Ola, Swiggy, Zomato. What are the problems you, f you see there? And what you think that something, if I add it, the enhancement to the product it will be a uh, good reach to the customers right so if you have such ideas do it that's what end of day company requires we look into the immediate problem of what customer is facing not some kind of futuristic project companies do futuristic project but but the thing is they don't met, spend much on top of it with respect to the investment or time right so let me just show you some example see uh, i just recently come across this particular person so he's a his name is kishan he's from assam and he didn't complete his college. That's what I can see. He is just a final year student. So he had an idea of inventing something from the problem what he faced. So he used WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter. And he need one platform where all messengers should come there. Like he connected all messages to one place. See, now I'm just a text my friend in WhatsApp. But he responded me in Instagram, that idiot. right? So that means I have to close WhatsApp and I have to go to Instagram. So now imagine there is one place where I can get all the message at the same time, right? So that's what he invented, text.com. And the beauty is he sold it to WordPress for 50 million and that means 400 crores. So the idea seems to be very small, but the thing is the impact is large. That's what we are underestimating the real world problems, what we already have in the market. We just go to something else and the problem itself not there in the market, but you consider that as a problem and you're exaggerating the project ideas, right? I will give you another example. I'm just going to give you two examples, but there is hell a lot of example like this. People who just focus on small things created a larger impact to their career, right? So this is something recently happened. You might have heard about this news. Jometo CEO has announced something like hereafter, whenever some people cancel the orders, we're going to sell it in a very less price for someone else from the same area. Now, one person responded to this. He gave some ideas because imagine there is one point you can see chance of two idiots sharing meals, ordering and cancelling at the same time, getting discount place. Right. So like this, he gave some ideas and CEO, Zometo CEO was really impressed with the idea. And what he said is he responded like all whatever the points he mentioned, some of the points are already there, but still he's impressed with the ideas. Now, the CEO like 
trying to ask him like what what work you are doing at present and i'm interested to connect with you and he got an opportunity here as a job or as a kind of a, a freelancer or a consultant whatever it is see this is what focus on small problems and you implement the same tech stack you go with same ai llm whatever you know as a demanding skill set uh, skill set use the same but focus on small problem that is there already don't go for something else which is not even there or which is a rare problems which an end user no we don't have much end user see for motion tracking of satellite but let's come to the same example do you have lots of users to do that someone who is going to interest to see the uh, motion of what is an unused satellite in the space no you take any ceos right they immediately concentrate on the first the problem what they have in the near real time that's it not into futuristic start from sundar pichai or uh, elon musk they used to do that first right so this is what how you have to uh, decide a project is allowed make use of chat gpt or copilot that generate you get some ideas connect with real time people and just get them what are the problems they face and how it can be fixed and you have the knowledge and you can just develop it right so this is how you can project in your resume and the interview and i hope you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and follow this difference and colleague and i'm here to teach you like this so don't worry so please just follow my page and my youtube channel thanks for watching guys